Hi, today we're going to talk about how to configure headland turns. This option provides the ability to auto steer around headland turns when using AB lines or identical curve guidelines. A license must be purchased to enable this functionality. Auto steering must be engaged to perform headland turns automatically. To use this option, a boundary must exist and a headland must be configured. On the setup screen, under System, Features, Guidance, Headland turns need to be enabled. Select the running man to return to the run screen. Select the field menu, then the configure headland icon. Enable the headland option. The width of the headland can be defined using headland width or headland offset. To enter a headland width not related to the swath width or to add a buffer zone, use headland offset. If both are used, the two figures are added together. Look ahead sets how many meters in front of the vehicle that the system looks to respond with actions. Now touch on the Configure Actions button. Select Action State and change to Enabled. Now using the slider or button, set the preferred auto zoom level for when the vehicle approaches the headland. Now highlight the alarm and select Action State and change to Enabled. You can customise the visual message displayed if desired. Change the audio type to beep. Tick to confirm actions. Tick to close. Now from the guidelines menu, select configure headland turns icon. The settings entered on this screen are saved by implement. The turn location is identified with the light blue line currently displayed. We recommend you drive the vehicle to a location close to the headland to allow you to see the shape and position of the turn as you adjust the settings. Start with the turn radius set to half of the implement's width. This will give you a smooth curve from one line to the next. Turn line location moves the location at which the turns will be performed between the headland and the boundary. The left of the slider is the boundary and the right side is the headland width. Minimum value is half the implement width. Start with the turn location set to the implement width to ensure sufficient clearance from the boundary. Use this button to further increase the boundary margin by half the implement width. Now touch the pattern button. I'm currently using an alternating pattern. Use the plus button to skip rows. Use the minus button to return skipped row. Swath progression directs travel through increasing or decreasing swath numbers displayed on the guidelines. Alternating pattern is where the vehicle travels up one row and down the next. With infill, the vehicle skips a row and then turns back to fill in the skipped row. With single direction infill, the vehicle only turns in the same direction, left or right, at the end of each row. I will use the alternating pattern for this example. Tick to confirm settings. Tick to close. Now the final step for the setup is to configure the headland turn alarms. Select the spanner to go to the setup screen. Under System, Alarms, General, select Headland Turns. Ensure Alarm State is enabled. Set Distance to Headland. This is the distance from the headland at which the alarm displays. Then set whether the Edit Headland Turns options are displayed on the headland alarm by default. Now select the Running Man to return to the Run screen. You can edit headland turns via the alarm. The alarm can be displayed manually using the turn button at the top of the guidance screen. The alarm screen can be used to change the number of rows to be skipped. You can change the direction of the turn. And you can reject the turn. Pressing the alarm panel accepts the headland turn. Pressing the spanner takes you directly to the alarm settings for further changes. Returning to the operation screen, we now need to check our auto section control. For this example, I'm setting my boundary limit to headland mode. And I'm setting my control mode to 100 for full coverage. I'm now ready to start operating. I turn on my master switch. And I engage my auto steer. And I commence moving.
The auto steer guideline is represented by the red line. You can see the individual sections turning on as I cross the headland boundary. The headland turn alarm is now visible. The distance to turn panel will remain on screen and continue countdown unless closed. Additional distance messages appear throughout the approach to the headland turn. Headland turn location can now be seen clearly. Headland zoom settings are applied. Sections turn off as I cross the headland boundary. You can see from watching this first turn I can get closer to the field boundary next time. During the turn, auto zoom is applied again. Coming out of the turn you can see the implement lines up perfectly with the next guideline. I now want to adjust my turn line location. The current view shows my field boundary as the dark blue line. I open the guideline menu, then configure headland turns. Again you can see the light blue line displayed when the configure headland turns window is open. I adjust my turn line location and tick to close. Changes to the turn line location are applied immediately. And that is how to configure headland turns. I hope you found this video helpful and have a nice day.